myself, I'm going to be your imp. I'm, I'm sorry? Oh, don't worry. We'll fix it. Uh, I'd like to start by introducing myself. My name is Katrina. Um, I want to start with some introductions and thank yous. So I'd like to uh, welcome our school board members, John O'Caro and Graham Page. Welcome. I'd like to thank uh, my partners in planning, uh, Michelle Kastner, Director of Elementary Education. Um, she's not present tonight, but as well as um, our office assistants um, and office manager, Tanisha Thompson, Lauren Price, and Jenny Hadek. I'd like to also thank our judges and introduce them as well. So first we have Dr. Melanie Lichtenstein. She is ta the Talent Development Specialist. Marsha Howard, a retired Almeral County School, school Administrator as well as former teacher. Dr. Ned Galloway, Chair of the Board of Supervisors. Our returning pronouncer, Mrs. Kathy Sublet. I'd like to thank Matt Bayless, um, our ed tech support person for the night. Lorenzo Dickerson for all of the photographs that are happening tonight. And lastly, but not least, all of our school coordinators. So, a brief overview of our roles tonight. First, students, as you come up, we'd like you to say the word before and after spelling the word as this will be an opportunity for the pronouncer to be sure you're hearing the word correctly. Next, please look at judges when you're spelling your word. If after you've started spelling a word and you decide to start over, you cannot change any of the letters in your re-spelling. You may ask for the definition, sentence, word origin, homonym, part of speech, and alternate pronunciation. When a speller is out, the judges will hold up a red card. Can you guys hold up a card for us? And the speller returns to the audience with their family members. The champion will need to spell a word in an additional round. Winners, please stay back for paperwork as well as additional pictures. As for appeals, a parent, legal guardian, or teacher can request an appeal if you feel the speller should be restricted. The coordinators and judges will review all appeals and the judges, to, and, uh, and the judges according to the protocol. And we have an appeals table over here. The only time that an appeal will not be honored is when there are five or fewer remaining. It goes to an oral appeal. The written B was conducted just a few minutes ago, and that will be used as a tiebreaker. Does anyone have questions? Yes. You won't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, there may be a hyphen, but not capitalization. Mm -hmm. um, she said, are we including capitalization and hyphens? No for the capitalization because I don't believe there are any words that need to be capitalized. Hyphens should be included. And I don't think that we have hyphens this time around either. Okay. Um, lastly, I'd just like you to know, due to the B, normally we have had, oh, sorry, Max. Exactly. Yes, Lewis. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Hello, Mr. Galloway from Lewis. <laughs> Um, in the past, we have had eight people that go to the, fine, to the regionals. This year, due to so many schools and private schools that have um, school competitors, we are only taking six this year. So that is a change. So we'll be the top six. Okay. Yes? I don't believe you'll have to do that in any of our work. And we're just going to take a brief second to pause, uh, just waiting for um, Dr. Haas. Oh. Hi. <laughs> you snuck in. So I'd like to welcome Dr. Haas, our school superintendent. At this time, we'd like to congratulate and award our school-based winners. I will invite principals, teachers, school board members to come and shake the hands of the winner. Parents, please take your child's certificate after they have won so that they don't have to hold it during the B. I will also try my best to make sure that I pronounce every student's name correctly as names are important. So our winner, our school-based winner from Agner Hurt is Louis DiFerenzo. It's okay, Lewis, I've got you. <laughs> Absolutely. <coughs> yes, sir. Right here. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Marsha. Next up for Baker Butler, we have Amalia Johnson Villalobos. Next, Broadiswood, Grayson Hatcher. Next, we have Max Alhusen from Brownsville Elementary School.
from Burley Middle School, we have Ingrid Flaherty. From Kale Elementary, we have Ezra Flaherty. From Community Public Charter, we have Angel McDonald. Jose Elementary, we have Paige Lane. From Greer Elementary, we have Ali Yunus. From Henley Middle School, we have Layla Barber. From Hollymead Elementary, we have Alicia Jing. <laughs> From Jewett Middle School, we have Lizzie Freisinger. From Meriwether Lewis, we have Hayden Castle. <laughs> From Murray Elementary, we have Rudy. Archeria, Acharya. <laughs> 
from Grid Hill Elementary. We have uh, William Peter Monroe. From Scottsville Elementary, we have Christian Cirillo. From Stone Robinson Elementary, we have Audrey Ishler. From Stony Point Elementary, we have Charles Hall. From Sutherland Middle School, we have Lucas Guerra. From Walton Middle, we have Caven Wills. And from Woodbrook Elementary, we have Sophia Ayler. Let's give our school-based winners one more round of applause. <laughs> At this time, we will begin the B. Please be sure to turn off your cell phone or put it on vibrate. Thank you. For our first round, we're starting with the practice round. So, excuse me, since we start from that end. Okay, so this first round shouldn't be any problem just to get you used to the way the logistics of this work. So we start with the first young man down here in the end. And he comes up and stands at this microphone. And 
Even though I'm talking, look at the judges, okay? So look that way. Okay. Okay, the first word is cat. C-A-T, cat. That's my favorite animal, by the way. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, so now then you can go back to your seat. Good job. Okay, the second word is man. Man, M-A-N, man. Okay, the third word is hat. Hat, hat, H-A-T, hat. The fourth word is top. Top, T-O-P, top. The, the fifth word is can. Canned, C-A-N, canned. The sixth word is pat. Pat, P-A-T, pat. Fit. Fit, F-A-F-I-T, fit. Bat. Bat. B A T. Bat. Tip. Tip. T I P. Tip. Rat. Rat. R A T. Rat. Big. Big, B-I-G, big. Fun. Fun, F-U-N, fun. Cap. <laughs> cap, C-A-P, cap. Map. Map. M A P. Map. Pan. Pan. P A N. Pan. Van. Van. V A N. Van. Bed. Bed. B E D. Bed. Fan. Can you repeat the word? Fan. Can you repeat the word? Fan. Fan. F A N. Fan. Ham. Ham. H A M. Ham. Gum. Gum. G U M. Gum. Net. Net. N E T. Net. Okay, so obviously those were just to get us into the groove here. Do remember that if you don't hear a word, I, will, I can repeat it for you. I can also tell you the definition. I can use it in a sentence, but you have to ask me to do that, okay? So if there's any confusion, just ask, all right? Okay, this is the real deal. All right, number one, come on up. Honor. 
H O N O R. Honor. Bookkeeper. Could you say it in a sentence, please? Dad has been a bookkeeper at the plant for 14 years. Could I have a definition, please? One who maintains accounts. Bookkeeper. B O O K E E P E R. Bookkeeper. Saying. Repeat the word, please. Saying. Saying. S A Y I N G. Saying. Actress. Actress. A C T R E S S. Actress. Really? Could you give me a definition, please? Um, in actual fact, actually. Really. R E A L L Y. Really. Energy. Energy. E N E R G Y. Energy. Royal. Royal. R O Y A L. Royal. Market. Market. M A R K E T. Market. Pastel. Pastel, P-A-S-T-E-L. Scarecrow. Scarecrow, S-C-A-R-E-C-R-O-W, Scarecrow. Bucket. Bucket, B-U-C-K-E-T, Bucket. Lesson. Lesson. L E S S O N. Lesson. Chalk. Chalk. C H A L K. Chalk. Birthday. Birthday. B I R T H D A Y birthday inched Can you repeat the word inched inched I N C H E D inched Comma. C O oh, wait. Comma C O M M A. Telephone. Telephone. T E L O F P H O N E. Telephone. Terrible. 
terrible. T-E-R-R-I-B-E-L. Terrible. Frump. Could you repeat the word? Frump. Could you repeat it again? Frump. Can you use it in a sentence? Mr. Collins was a frump who was always talking about the good old days. Frop. F R O P. Frop. Publish. Publish. P U B L I S H. Publish. Sandal. Sandal. S A N D L E. Sandal. Okay. Um, this is now round two. Okay. Mortal. M. O R T A L, mortal. Slapstick. Slapstick. S L A P S T I C K. Slapstick. Barge. Barge. B A R G E. Barge. Software. Software. S O F T W A R E. Software. Confess. Confess. C O N F E S S. Confess. Empower. Empower. E M P O W E R. Empower. Infant. Infant. I N F A N T. Infant. Possible. Possible. P O S S I B L E. Shortfall. Shortfall, may I have the definition, please? Um, it's right at the curve. The word consists, I'm okay, sorry, a, de a deficit or a shortage. Okay. Shortfall, S-H-O-R-T-F-A-L-L, -L, shortfall. Payment. Can you say the definition? Something given to discharge a debt or obligation or to fulfill a promise. Payment. P A Y M E N T. Payment. Motion. Motion. M O T I O N. Motion. Otter. Could you use it in a sentence? The sea otter places a stone on its chest and uses it as an anvil on which to open mussels and clams. Otter, O-T-T-E-R. 
E R otter. Arrow. Can you please pronounce the word again? Arrow. Arrow. A R R O W. Arrow. Difficult. Difficult. D I F F I C U L T. Insight. Insight. I N S I G H T. Million. Million. M I L L I O N. Million. Okay, on to round three. Thawed. What? Thawed. T H A W. E D fold green umpire. In the sentence, please. The coach vehemently objected when the umpire ejected the player for unsportsmanlike conduct. Umpire, U M P I R E umpire. Piracy. Piracy. P I R A C Y. Piracy. Cowlick. Cowlick. C O W L I C K. Cowlick. Theater. Theater. T H E A T E R. Theater. Vortex. Vortex. V O R T E X. Vortex. Alpha. A L P H A Alpha Scorpion Scorpion S C O R P I A N Medicine. Medicine. May I have the definition, please? Sure. It's on the next page. The science and art dealing with the maintenance of health and the prevention, alleviation, or cure of disease. Medicine. M-E-D-I-C-I-N-E. -E. Medicine. Right. L Lumberjack. Lumberjack. L U M B E R J A C K Lumberjack Larva Larva L A V R A Larva Ledge could you use it in the sentence, please? Parker's mother grows parsley and rosemary on a sunny ledge in the kitchen. Ledge. L E D G E. Ledge. Usher. Usher. 
U S H E R. Usher. Pollen. Pollen. P O L L E N. Pollen. Podium. Can you repeat the word? Podium. P O D E. M A. Legacy. Legacy. L E G A C Y. Legacy. Okay, so this is round four. Misuse. M I S U S E. Misuse. Bedlam. Definition, please. A place or scene of wild, mad uproar. Use it in a sentence, please. After the final game of the championship, the parking lot was Bedlam. Bedlam, B-E-D-L-U-M, Bedlam. Joust. Joust, J-O-U-S-T, Joust. Thorax. May I have a definition, please? The portion of an insect body that is the middle of the three chief divisions. Thorax. T H O R A X. Thorax. Domain. Domain. D O M A I N. Domain. Okay, this one is a homophone, so I'm going to tell you the definition before I read it to you so you'll know which sounding word that sounds like this it is, okay? This is the overhead inside lining of a room. Ceiling. Ceiling. S-E-I-L-I-N-G? Premium. Premium. P R E M I U M. Premium. Basically. May I have the definition, please? Fundamentally, essentially. Can you repeat the word, please? Basically. Basically. B A S I C A L L Y, basically. Raspberry. Raspberry. R A S P B E R R Y. Raspberry. A wash. Could you use it in a sentence, please? The amusement park was awash with children on the beautiful summer day. Awash. A-W-A-S-H. Awash. Rescue. Rescue. R-E-S-C-U-E. -E. Rescue. Entrance. Can you repeat the word, please? Entrance. 
E N T R A N C E, entrance. Logical. Logical. L O G I C A L, logical. Around five. Come on up. I think it's round five. But could be wrong. <laughs> Movie goer. M O V I E G O E R. Movie goer. Gorgon. Gorgon. <clears throat> G-O-R-G-O-N. Gorgon. Blemish. Could you repeat the word? Blemish. Blemish. B-L-E-M-I-S-H. Blemish. Stubble. We have, a def we, have, we have a definition. Yeah, sure. A short growth of beard. Stubble. S T U B L E. Stubble. Introverted. Do you repeat the word? Introverted. Introverted, I N T R O V E R T E D. Introverted. Villain. Can you repeat the word, please? Villain. May I have the definition? One who deliberately plots and does serious harm to others. Okay. Villain. V I L L A I N, villain. Enviable. Can I have the definition? Highly desirable. Can you repeat the word? Enviable. Enviable. I N V I A B L E, enviable. Merge. Could you use it in a sentence, please? The owners have plans to merge their smaller companies into one large one. Merge. M E R G E. Merge. Science. Science. S C I E. N C E science Okay, this is another one that could be confused by just hearing it. So I'm going to use it in a sentence first, okay? Okay. Um, Bryce's cousin taught him how to juggle. Taught. Taught. T A U G H T taught. Quaver. Quaver. Q U A V E R. Quaver. Okay, next round. What's the word? Wren. What? Wren. Use it in a sentence. A wren came to the bird feeder outside the living room window. Oh. W R E. In, Rin, like the bird. Mm -hmm. 
Lawyer. Lawyer. L A W Y E R. Lawyer. Habitat. Habitat. H A B I T A T. Habitat. Bassoon. Bassoon. B A S O O N. Bassoon. Fidelity. Fidelity. May I have the definition, please? The quality or state of being faithful or loyal. Fidelity. F I D E L I T Y. Fidelity. <clears throat> Trifle. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Though the bracelet from her grandmother was worth only a trifle, Morgan treasured it always. Trifle. T R I F L E. Trifle. Dystopia. Can you pronounce the word again, please? Dystopia. Part of speech? It is a noun. Definition, please. Definition, an imaginary place which is distressingly wretched and whose people lead a fearful existence. The word again, please. Dystopia. Dystopia. D I S T O P I A. Dystopia. Permission. Permission. P E R M I S S I O N. Permission. Parsnip. Parsnip. P A R S N I P. Parsnip. Okay, next round. Carriage. C A R R I G E. Inhale. Inhale. I N H A L E. Inhale. Spectrum. Spectrum. S P E C T R U M. Spectrum. Bolide. May I have the definition, please? <clears throat> An exploding or exploded meteor or meteorite. Can you repeat the word, please? Bolide. May I have the language of origin, please? Greek. May I have the part of speech? Noun. <clears throat> and can you use it in a sentence? What May thought was a UFO turned out actually to be a bolide. bolide. Can you repeat the word again, please? Bolide. Bolide. B-O-L-I-D-E. Bolide. Cohesive. Cohesive. C-O-H. E S I V E cohesive turmoil turmoil T E R M O I L turmoil mammoth Mammoth, <clears throat> M A M M O, 
um, TH Mammoth. All righty. Genetic. Genetic. G E N E T I C. Genetic. Forbidden. Forbidden. F O R B I D D E N. Forbidden. Stipend. May I have the definition, please? A fixed sum of money, typically modest in amount. Can you repeat the word again? Stipend. May I have the language of origin, please? Uh, late Middle English from the Old French. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The university gave Professor Barrett a stipend for his lecture series. Can you repeat the word again, please? Stipend. Stipend. S-T-I-P-E-N-D. Stipend. This is my personal favorite list, word on the list. Mugwump. Could you use it in a sentence? Sure. In the Harry Potter books, the head of the International Confederation of Wizards is deemed the supreme mugwump. Mugwump. M-U-G-W-U-M-P. Mugwump. Vouch. Vouch. V-O-U-C-H. Vouch. Avenge. Avenge. A-V-E-N-G-E. -E. Avenge. Tournament. Could you repeat the word, please? Tournament. Tournament. T O U. R N A M E N T tournament morale may i have the definition please a sense of common purpose or a degree of dedication to a common task regarded as characteristic of or dominant in a particular group or organization okay. morale m o r a l e morale Unattainable. Unattainable. U N A T T A I N A B L E. Unattainable. Disarray. Disarray. D I S. A-R-R-A-Y, disarray. Talisman. Talisman, T-A-L-I-S-M-A-N, talisman. Advocate. Advocate, A D. V O C A T E, advocate. Dissemble. Dissemble. May I have the definition, please? To conceal facts, motives, intentions, or feelings under some pretense. Um, can you repeat the word, please? Dissemble. May I have the language of origin? Uh, it came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. Dissemble. D I S S E M B L E, dissemble. Ailment. Uh, could you use it in a sentence, please? After waking up with a sore throat, Talia had some tea to soothe her ailment. Ailment. A I L M E N T. Ailment. Infamous. Infamous. I N F A M O U S. Infamous. Duplicity. 
Can I please have that word in a sentence? A spy must be capable of constant duplicity. Duplicity. D-U-P-L-I-C-I-T-Y. Duplicity. Infringe. Infringe. I-N-F-R-I-N-G-E. Infringe. Manufacture. Manufacture. Can you repeat the word again? Manufacture. Manufacture. M-A-N-U-F-A-C-T-U-R-E. Manufacture. Freight. Could you use it in a sentence? The semi-truck was delivering its freight to a vendor in Arkansas. Freight. F-R-E-I-G-H-T. Freight. Piety. Can you repeat the word again, please? Piety. Piety. P I E. <laughs> um, T Y. Piety. <laughs> Vivacious. Can I please have that in a sentence? Randy's vivacious personality made her perfect for her school's pep squad. Vivacious. V-I-V-A-T-I-O-U-S. Vivacious. Expunge. Expunge. E-X-P-U-N-G-E. Expunge. Bulwark. May I have the definition, please? Something that offers strong support or protection in danger, a powerful means of defense. Bulwark. Can you repeat the word again, please? Bulwark. Bulwark. B U L W A R K. Bulwark. Poverty. Poverty. P O V E R T Y. Poverty. Shiatsu. Can you repeat the word again? Shiatsu. Shiatsu. Can you repeat it one more time? Shiatsu. S H I um, A T S H U. Shiatsu. Lanai. Could you say that again, please? Lanai. Could I have a definition? A living room open in part to the outdoors, an outdoor space used as a living room. Lanai. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Kai loved eating dinner out on the Lanai while watching the sunset. Lanai. L A N A I. Lanai. <clears throat> Pontiff. Pontiff, may I have the definition, please? A high priest or chief religious figure. Pontiff, can you repeat the word again, please? Pontiff. May I have the language of origin? Comes from French, which formed it from Latin. Pontiff, can you repeat the word again once more? Pontiff. 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 P-O-N-T-I-F-F. Pontiff. Nye. Could you use in a sentence? Mr. and Mrs. Wooten have been married for nigh on 60 years. Nigh. N-I-G-H. Nigh. Betrothal. Betrothal. B-E-T-R-O-T-H-A-L. Betrothal. Grouse. May I have the definition, please? To complain typically with sustained grumbling. 
Can you repeat the word again, please? Grouse. Grouse. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No, they're not. Um, can I have the language of origin, please? It's of unknown origin. This is just <laughs> not helpful. Very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you repeat the word again? Grouse. Grouse. G-R-O-U-S-E. Grouse. Divi. Could you use it in a sentence? Rather than fight, Lisa and Maggie decide to dip, decided to divvy up the last piece of cake. D-I-V-Y, divvy. Okay, so <clears throat> stridency. Could you repeat the word, please? Stridency. May I have a definition? The quality or state of loudly or obtrusively commanding notice or recognition. Could you repeat the word, please? Stridency. Stridency. S-T-R-I-D-E-N-C-Y. Stridency. Asylum. May I have the definition, please? A place of refuge and protection. Asylum. A-S-Y-L-U-M. Asylum. Vitriolic. May I have a definition, please? Marked by a caustic biting quality. Vitriolic. Vitriolic. V-I-T-R. I-O-L-I-C, vitriolic. Insinuate. May I have the definition, please? Impart or communicate with artful, indirect wording or oblique reference, hint or imply. May I have the language of origin, please? Latin. Um, can you repeat the word again? Insinuate. Insinuate. I-N-S-I-N-U-A-T-E, insinuate. Affluent. Affluent. A F F L U E N T. Affluent. Lambasted. Lambasted. May I have the definition, please? Um, administered, administered a verbal or written thrashing to. May I have the language of origin, please? The first part of this word is of Scandinavian origin, and the second part is of Norse origin. Can you repeat the word again, please? Lambasted. Lambasted. And there is actually an alternate pronunciation. Oh, OK. Lambasted. All right. Lambasted. L-A-M-B-A-S-T-E-D. Lambasted. Events. May I have a definition, please? To display clearly, exhibit, manifest, express. Events. E V I N C E, events. Bulbous. May I have the definition, please? Resembling or suggesting a bulb, especially in roundness or in the enlargement of a part. Bulbous. B U L B O U S, bulbous. Hermitage. Hermitage. H E R M I T A G E, Hermitage. Bountiful. Bountiful. May I have the definition, please? Abundant, plentiful. Bountiful. B O U N T I F U L, Bountiful. Exorcism. May I have a definition, please? The act or practice of driving out or driving away an evil spirit, especially by the use of a holy name or, other, or magic rites. Exorcism. <clears throat> E-X-O-R-C-I-S-M. Exorcism. Extinguish. Extinguish. May I have the definition? Cause, as a fire or a light, to cease burning. <clears throat> Extinguish. E X T I N G U I S H. Extinguish.
Okay. So, how far do you want to go? How far do you want to go? There. Okay. All right. We skipped a few pages. Aubergine. Aubergine. May I have a definition, please? A variable color averaging a blackish purple. Aubergine. O B E R G I N E. Aubergine. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. I didn't tell you what number we were on. Uh, 198. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Aubergine. Aubergine. O B E R G I N E. Aubergine. Okay. Don't go sit down yet because if, if Layla misses, then we have to go back. Soto voce. Soto voce. May I have the definition, please? Under the breath in an undertone. Soto voce. May I have the language of origin, please? Uh, Italian. Soto voce. S-O-T-T-O-V-O-C-E. Soto voce. Okay, now you have to do one more for the championship round. Resiliency. Resiliency. May I have the definition, please? Capability of a strained body to recover its size and shape after a de deformation caused especially by compressive stress. Can you repeat the word again, please? Resiliency. Resiliency. R E S I L I E N C Y. Resiliency. That's right. Thank you to all spellers. So our six contestants that will be going on to regionals, Louis DiFerenzo, Max Alhusen, Hayden Castle, Sophia Ayler, and congratulations to our winner of the 15th annual Spelling Bee, Layla Barber. If all of our winners, oh, did I not announce our second place? That was Ingrid. Oh, sorry, Ingrid. Are you still here? Where are you? Hey, Ingrid, come on down. So Ingrid Flaherty as well. All of our winners, please come down to the front so I can give you further direction. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wow. Man, that's intense. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> 